So what's up guys, Fabri here and welcome to Shades of Tech. Today I'm super excited because I have something really cool to share with you. We'll bring you the full unboxing and first experience of the LG OLED C7B. It's a all LED TV, it's 4K, it's HDR, it's Dolby Vision, it's Dolby Atmos, it's really the best television that in my opinion you can buy right now. So. Without further ado, let's go right into it! The unboxing experience was pretty nice. This was the first time I unboxed a TV this big. And of course I decided as always not to read the instruction manual, but I found it overall a pretty simple unboxing. Of course, as I discovered later, it was a two people unboxing. So if you want to unbox this alone, and I believe you will need some help too. So I lifted the box and then I put it horizontally on the floor. The mounting stand is a big metal piece, so I decided to give it a try. To install it, we just have to lay down the television horizontally, open the plastic paper, and then slide it in place. And then you just need 5 more screws. Then you can lift it up and place it where you want. The television is heavier than I expected. The best moment of the unboxing was the first time I saw the screen. It's really gorgeous, it has wonderful blacks and a really nice anti-glare coating. So basically super black. Look how beautiful is that. I'm sorry that my camera can capture very well the experience but I can assure you if you have seen it in real life it's really wonderful. Then I set the TV up, the process was pretty quick and I found myself comfortable with the LG WebOS. Then I set up my Mac and then I first got in touch with the remote. I really love the magic trackpad, even though you can use the gesture only in the standard WebOS apps. And it's not supposed to work in apps like YouTube, Plex and Netflix, so you will have to use the wheel or the arrows to move. This is pretty sad, even though the remote experience is overall pretty positive and I really like the ergonomic grip. Of course there are in the webOS integrated many apps such as Netflix and it supports of course Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos and it was really wonderful experience. Previously I had some constraints about the blacks but as you can see it can handle also the Marvel the Punisher intro with some grace and it handles it really well. And then I had some really positive experience with Plex apps with the new movies in HDR such as Assassin's Creed, Wonder Woman, Transformers and so on. But the biggest surprise I had was when I hooked up my standard PS4. So not a PS4 Pro, but a standard PS4 500 gigs. And then the HDR logo popped up and I started Assassin's Creed Origins and it was a really wonderful experience. I played it before on a full HD TV and the experience is really wonderful, the colors are super vibrant, the blacks are really deep and it supports the 60 FPS. So really happy about that. I will probably update to PS5 later the next year, but I will not skip to PS4 Pro. I just have some glitches and problems in the map, because the map is really full of details, so probably the television processor has some difficult. So this was a really wonderful experience, if you can buy this TV I really advise it and in the next video you will see me mounting it with a wall mounting slim fit so really looking forward for that and then we'll see my new television 4K HDR setup. So that's all for now, if you like this video please give a big like 
And if you want to know more about the LG LED televisions, please go very iPhone 10 on the subscribe button and stay tuned. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!